I'm Jessica Udan with the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. As musicians, we are always striving for perfect and precise intonation, and it would be impossible to talk about intonation without talking about shifting. First and foremost, it is incredibly important to orally hear your starting pitch, in this case, an E, as well as your arrival pitch, in this case, a G. When I say hear, I mean, can you sing it inside your head? Can you sing it out loud? E, G, G, E. Having that sense of distance between those two notes and knowing where you are starting and where you are going will help improve your intonation. Next, it is incredibly important to keep your left hand loose and relaxed, meaning you are not pressing or squeezing the neck of the viola with your thumb. If you are pressing and squeezing, you will not be able to travel from point A to point B, certainly not smoothly, and most likely not accurately. Once we address that, it's time to actually execute the shift. We start by voicing our starting pitch, in this case an E, and we have the full weight of our finger upon the string. Then we release the weight and we glide with our finger on top of the string before we replace the weight once we arrive at our final pitch. This is what I mean. We play the initial starting pitch, we release the weight and glide. And then we replace the weight when we arrive at our final pitch. And we do the same thing on the way back down. You might be thinking, why do I need to hear all of those sounds in between? But it's incredibly important to train your left hand the physical distance required from point A to point B. Gradually, we start to diminish this amount of time. And every time we travel from point A to point B, we have to be super critical and ask ourselves, did I shift correctly? Was my arrival note in fact in tune? If it wasn't, why wasn't it in tune? Was it too sharp, too high? Was it too flat, too low? Our odds of success will only improve if we force ourselves to think and practice very critically. We slowly diminish the amount of time between point A and point B, and we don't rush the process. We don't go from our first iteration to the final iteration. It's a lot less likely to be in tune that way. So take your time. Practice slowly. Enjoy all of the steps from point A to point B. And I sincerely hope that these little tips will help improve your shifting.